Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to talk about the large honey badger. Now, this was sent in by my brother uh, because I had done a video on the small honey badger that I won from Ray over at Everyday City Carries uh, site channel. And I did a video on this, and my brother asked, you know, what did I really think of it? Blah, blah, blah. He saw this on Blade Forums for 50 bucks. Came with uh, some different scales also. He didn't send those, which is fine. Because I want to just talk really about what you can just buy right now. So, uh, <laughs> for 50 bucks, can you go wrong? Okay, that was used price. Brand new on Amazon right now at the link below that I will put $62. There are several left. There will be one left, one less left once I'm done filming this video because as I was looking to, you know, get a price for you guys, I uh, am right after the video, I f right after I film this video, I am going to order myself a large, exactly like this color, a medium, and a new small, all three in D2, and the small will not have the finger choil. So the small, so they will all three look exactly like this one. Because those of you who have followed my channel know I'm into sets. And I haven't really bought many knives since I bought the battle. And it's time to buy a few. And these are great. I think this this one is 62, the medium I think was 55, and the small is like 52, or maybe it's 55 also, I don't remember. But for 60 bucks, you get a lot of knife here. So let's take a quick look. FRN handles that are textured like a honeybee, uh, 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 honeycomb, a hive, whatnot. So you have a lot of grip. A very well done deep carry pocket clip. You've heard me talk about it before. Recess the stuff. This is actually inserted in. You take out those two screws because you can flip this around left or right hand. And it's the tang of the clip slides into that recess and then they use countersunk hardware. Fantastic deep carry. You have a thumb deployment or a flipper tab. Works equally well with both. I almost prefer the uh, thumb deployment hole on this one. D2. Love it or hate it, it's $62 for this brand new. Okay? It's a D2 steel. It's a good deal. And it runs on bearings. $62, D2, and runs on bearings. How can you really go wrong? Okay, my contention is this is a great user knife. If you ding it up, scratch it up, chip the blade, who cares? Buy a new one for $62. Right? I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's fantastic. You can get it in several different blade shapes, several different colors. I, pr I like this kind of brownish, you know, t dark tan color. I mean, so I'm just going to get all three just like this. So uh, if I order it fast enough today on Saturday, the uh, 15th, I think it is, I'll have them on Sunday the 16th. <laughs> I love Amazon. I mean, come on. So let's go through some of the specs. It's four and five eighths closed. Eight and a quarter overall. 3.71 blade, 3.6 cutting edge, D2 steel, as I said, 0.134 th blade thickness, 0.535 overall thickness, excluding the clip, and it weighs in at 3.8 ounces. I mean, you're getting a full-size knife, not a big overbuilt knife, but what I tend to carry, that three and three quarter, three and a half to three quarter inch blade is my preferred size. And this handles that perfectly. Okay, so here's the small for size comparison. Okay, 
and we'll just move this down here out of the way. We'll leave it right here for now so you can get an idea. I don't I will do a quick unboxing when I get all three of them and I will do the three comparison deal when I get those hopefully tomorrow if I actually order them quick enough. But here it is next to the Sharpie. The Spider Codelica. So actually this video is going to drop on Sunday morning. So by the time you all are watching it, I will probably have <laughs> the other set. I, I'm just too impatient to wait. I just I needed to film something for tomorrow. So this is what you get. Another awesome budget uh, is the Kubi KB237. This is fantastic. This is like $32 on Amazon. Again, D2, G10 scales, I think. I have to double check. I don't remember now. Uh, liner lock. I mean, all blacked out. This is really an awesome knife too. And again, it's great because if you are in a situation where you're out somewhere and for whatever reason, you're going to dinner, you're going to a club. How about the Hellraiser P-Series? And you're going to a club and you realize, oh my God, they're checking people at the door. You're going to some sporting event. You live in, you live in California and you can't run back to your car for whatever reason to drop off your knife. If this gets confiscated for 50 bucks or the Kubi for 35 bucks, you know, whatever, not a big deal. So it's great to carry in those types of situations, those areas, if you will. Um, I always try to carry, I mean, I, I think about what I'm putting in my pocket before I head out for the day. And I would think most of you do also. And do I want to lose a $50, $60 knife compared to maybe a $200 knife compared to a multi-thousand dollar custom that I, you know, carried to a sporting event by mistake, you know, even a quiet carry waypoint, these are like $300. Is, do you want which do you want to lose which are you going to use more hard right I mean you guys have seen my collection I have the Frank Fisher battle multi thousands of dollars I'm not even going to say how much that was because it's it, there's no point I don't carry that to places that I'm going to use it really hard <laughs> I mean <laughs> That's more of a of an art-ish type knife. If I know I'm going somewhere where I'm going to have to use a knife for hard use, I'm going to take the right knife with me. And I think we need to have a lot of affordable budget type knives. We can't just have all the high-end customs because a lot of people are afraid to use those. I carry everything I have from my Todd bag custom stuff, mid and customs and all those to my Frank Fishers, my Todd Fisher and my TJ Fishers. I carry all of my knives and I use them all, but I'm going to use them for the right things. You know, I'm not going to pull out a $5,000 custom necessarily to start trimming trees with or whittle myself a uh, you know toothpick like that's just not what you're going to use that for so we need to have the fun custom stuff and the affordable user worker stuff my Demkos I use my hinderers I use in those four to five six hundred dollar range yeah I use the heck out of those I'll cut the anything with those you know but I don't know it's pretty cool to have a 50 60 70 dollar knife that you really don't care about if it gets lost it gets you know confiscated somewhere because you 
carried something somewhere where you probably shouldn't have. You know? Plus, these are great to just leave in the truck, in your car. You know, you can buy these for 50, 60 bucks, and you can put one in the glove box of each of your cars so that you have one. I mean, I know, you never leave the house without a knife, right? I have forgotten once or twice in my life. And you have something in the car that's just there. Yeah. I think the affordable ones are awesome. I'm super excited. I think I'm just going to, you know, like I said, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to edit the video, upload the video, get it all done so that it's done and out of my hair because I have a routine, kind of a workflow that I do. And then I am going to order myself three honey badgers just like this uh, because I think it's cool. And then I can say I have the set. And then this one I will probably use as a giveaway because it doesn't match the set anymore. So I will just turn around and offer this up to somebody else because why not? Um, it's what I do. It's what the community is all about. So thanks for watching, everyone. Please, down below, tell me what you think about affordable knives and $50, $60 knives off of Amazon because I'd love to hear your guys' take. All right? Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.